I am Anil Kumar and now let us further explore the roots of quadratic equations. Now this is a very important question. It says consider the quadratic equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Now the first part of the question is what conditions must be satisfied by ac that is product of these two for the parabola to have x intercepts right and the second part is what conditions must be satisfied by b the coefficient of x for the parabola to have x intercepts so that is the question for you you can pause the video solve the question and then look into my suggestions now this question has been developed from the formula or discriminant which you know is b square minus 4ac that should be i mean 4ac that should be greater than or equal to 0 for having x intercepts correct if it is equal to 0 you get one x intercept but if it is greater than 0 you get two but in any case you do get x intercepts now the question here is what conditions must be satisfied by ac right so by ac for the parabola to have x intercepts right and the second part is what conditions must be satisfied by b so this question is variation of the concept. So I'd like you to now solve this inequality for AC, write your answer there. Solve this inequality for B and write your answer here. So I hope you can do that. So you can pause the video, solve, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to isolate AC. That's what it is, right? So what we have here is, if we want x-intercepts, that means we know b square minus 4ac should be greater than or equal to 0. If I want to solve it, I'll take ac to the other side. So we get b square is greater than or equals to 4ac. Or dividing by 4, what I get is b square divided by 4 should be greater than or equal to ac, right? So that becomes the condition. So I'm writing this condition here. So ac, I could write here as AC should be less than or equal to B square divided by 4. So, one fourth of B square. So, that becomes a solution of part A. You can follow the similar method and find the solution of part B. Okay. So, let's do it. So, let's do it here for part B. So, we'll again begin with B square minus 4 AC, but this time we'll isolate B. So, we have b square minus 4ac should be greater than or equal to 0. So if I take 4ac on this side, then I get b square should be greater than or equal to 4ac. Now the question is, what should be b, right? Whenever you square root, what do you get? You get plus and minus. So that is the tricky part. You get plus and minus. Therefore, what should be b when you square root? So b should be greater than or equals to square root of 4ac, right? That is a plus value. How about the negative value? Well, it, if it is greater than this, then, then what? It should be where for minus 4ac. This is what you need to figure out. Because 4ac could be, when you square root 4ac, you will get positive and negative answers right so therefore how do you treat that negative part this is kind of important for you to understand right so so b could be negative also do you understand so how will it treat now the idea here is if you have positive things going on then the sign is greater than or equal to but as soon as you change the sign to negative it becomes less than equal to right so the condition is this or b is less than equal to negative of square root of 4ac you get the point that is what we are getting to so either b is greater than or equal to square root of 4ac that is a plus one or b is less than this so b square will always be positive remember that right so simplifying these, I mean, 4 could be written as, square root of 4 could be written as 2. I could write that b should be less than equals to minus 2 square root of ac, right? 
or b should be greater than or equals to 2 square root of ac so that is kind of very important to understand uh, you can actually see some examples and verify whether it works or not i hope that really helps thank you and all the best